Hi everyone and welcome back. Tonight I'm testing out the Nomad One Shot Move Star Tracker. We'll go fast and also check the unboxing and see how to set it up and then we'll continue here the test. Now let's see what was in the box. The Nomad One Shot Move Star Tracker body, adapter for the ball head. We have a laser. Besides this, we have the battery charger for the laser, a Bluetooth remote. And we have also a charging cable. First, we need to remove the cap from the Nomad Star Tracker body in order to place the laser. To attach a ball head, we need to check the ball head adapter first. Here we can see a larger 3 8 inch screw and a small bolt there that is actually made for one shoot move Star Trekker special ball heads. So in order to attach a different type of ball head properly you need to take this out. So after this it's very easy to attach it, to attach a ball head and to place also the laser. You need two ball heads for this. One to attach the one shot move uh, Star Trekker body and one to place the camera. And then we are ready to go and use it outside. So you've seen the unboxing and how to set up the uh, Star Trekker. I place it here on the mount with a heavier ball head. Then you place another ball head here, here, three by eight uh, thread. And then we can equip the camera. However, we need to do polar alignment. So polar alignment is actually very simple by using the laser, much more simple than I ever thought. So let's do a fast polar alignment using the laser. I've already placed it here, attached it to the striker, then we'll turn it on and look, you can see how I'm moving it. And let's go a little bit farther away so you can see more. Basically, how I will point out the laser. So you can see also maybe Polaris. Let's align. So look how easy it is to do it. Basically, you just place it here. You need to unscrew it. You have also a small adapter. And after that, from the tripod, you just move it like this, you see. And made the rough alignment to uh, Polaris. Then I have a satellite or a plane, so I won't hit it. <laughs> And you can check like this also from the side and you just need to do a rough alignment so it does not need to be quite perfect but try to get it close okay and after that you can turn off the laser so let's see it better okay so this is it how easy it was to do it Okay, so now we can begin the test. Now it's time to get the camera on. It's better to align before uh, placing the camera because the laser might be obstructed. So let's get back the camera. I have here a Sony A7C full frame camera with a 35 millimeters lens. We'll attach it. We'll stop now the laser and place the camera. Tight it. Then we'll move towards the Milky Way with the, the camera, like this, with using the ball head. Turn on the camera. Also select our settings. We'll go shutter speed, 30 seconds. But first, I don't want to frame it, so we'll go one second. I saw 3800, so we see where we are pointing it. I have also there the summer triangle and we'll take uh, one image like this we'll t check it out i need to get a better position take another test shot then we'll have to check focus so we'll zoom in i'm on infinity focus and it seems it's okay everything looks good Take another photo and I'm imaging at f1.8 so I have less chromatic aberrations and also to be able to go longer exposures. 
So we'll go with this framing. ISO 640, 30 seconds, f1.8. We'll take one image, inspect it, and then take the others. Let's begin. We'll try not to move too much near the tripod while we are imaging so it will not cause vibrations. Oh, wait, I forgot. We need to start it. So before you start, it has a button, northern hemisphere or south. We we'll select the northern one. And now the normal one should move. Uh, star tracker, it tracks the night sky and we'll be able to image. So let's do the first uh, test tonight. 30 seconds. Of course, another good uh, idea is to check the polar alignment again after. And then we'll stop also the light and do a few more uh, images that we'll show you on the PC. Yeah, very well. Round start is at 30 seconds. Let's zoom in even more. Yeah, very small trails. And I just made a rough alignment. I also moved the tripod. With a rough alignment, I was able to go 30 seconds without problem. With this lens, I could go usually up to 8 seconds at 35 millimeters or maximum 10. But with decent results, usually up to 8 seconds. And I was able to go four times more with just a rough alignment. I was very uh, happy to see how fast I can do a polar alignment, a rough alignment with a laser. It took me less than one minute and I do have only these sharp stars at 30 seconds with a 35 millimeters lens. And we'll do further testing also on uh, the edge of the town when the sky is uh, darker. I do like that it has also a uh, USB-C port that you can also charge it to, uh, like on a smartphone and you can charge the battery and use it non-stop if you want <laughs> all night you can use it all night and i still need to see how much the battery will last but probably a lot since it's a very compact and i don't think it needs much power to rotate it now let's continue the test and we'll show the results in the next part of the video If you want to go light travel, this is the answer, not a Star Adventurer, uh, because it's much easier to carry to carry with you and very, very easy to use. Star Adventurer is good also, and especially if you have heavier equipment, but if you want to go just capture the Milky Way, don't carry with you heavy equipment, the one should move is the right choice. And until next time, clear sky, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.